Nintendo Indie World time. I'm still tired. I want to go back to bed. Uh, you're starting out with a cat game. Little Kitty, Big City. And I got to be real with you. That definitely sounds like an adult film name. And, I, and I'm sure you could find one that has that name. As you are all well aware, I'm not a big fan of cats. If you like cats, though, this might be cool for you. I, I'll never like cats. But you're a small kitty in, in a big city causing mischief solving puzzles and stuff i don't know it, it looks fine and i'm sure there's a large cat population that will enjoy this game comes out on may 9th okay uh we have a new game coming to us from way forward and atari okay um yars rising and if you're a fan of like Yars Revenge, it's a completely different game since it's a way forward game. Of course, it is a 2D puzzle platformer style game. Um, it honestly looks pretty cool. I like way forward, but I, I thought the gameplay kind of looked a, a bit choppy. Um, I actually did not write down the release date for this game, so hopefully they have time to smooth things out. I don't think it's coming out super soon, but yeah, it's interesting enough. You know, Way Forward usually makes good stuff. Teaming up with Atari is a decision to make a game based on a franchise that it really has nothing to do with it. But hey, you know what? I'll keep an open mind with it. Next up was a, a ref refined self, the personality test game. Oh boy, it's a journey of self discovery. Oh boy, uh, not a game for me. Hey, look, there's a dog. Look at that dog. It's a cozy sim game. Sticky business. Once again, that sounds like something else that could be an adult film. Um, we're creating stickers in this game, and then we're shipping them off to customers. This could be, this honestly could be the game of the year. Um, you know, it has an aesthetic to it. It has, it has a vibe to it. It's obviously catering to a certain marketplace. I say just start an actual sticker business instead and like make money instead of playing a game in which you make fictional money and try to appease fictional customers. But hey, you know, different strokes for different folks. The game comes out today. So if you want to get some sticky business before Little Kitty Big City, hey, you, you can do that. You could do that. Anton Blast was the next game, and this looks a lot like the Wario Land games that we saw back when Nintendo, well, they used to have various franchises. I think it looks pretty cool. You know, it's a fast-paced 2D side-scroller. You kind of just blast through things and enemies and characters and stuff like that. I definitely dig the style of the game. You end up getting to the end of the level, and the level explodes, so you got to go backwards throughout the entire level. It looks pretty cool. Um, doesn't come out till November 12th, but there is a demo available today. Then we saw a game called Valley Peaks. This game will be coming out this year. It's a first-person artsy-fartsy game. Uh, please turn down the dithering a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't know. The, um, the, uh, the art style is interesting, but like when you're gazing into the distance, like I think that look it looks too like weird, and I don't know. It does, it's not really appealing to the eyes. Like I said, Valley Peaks comes out this year. That would be a pass for me. Hey, look, another dog! I like dogs. Uh, Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, a game from the makers of Sayonara Wild Hearts, which, you know, it's an artsy fartsy game, but I love that game. So whatever. Maybe I'm a hypocrite. Um, it comes out in May. It looks interesting enough. I kind of dig the vibe, but like most of these games, like either the hosts will talk about it or the development team will itself to kind of flesh things out and sort of explain what's going on. Most of the time, they're games that don't need it. And this is a game that needs it, and they didn't do any of that. So I, I have no idea, but it, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, a game called Europa was next. It's a 3D puzzle platformer. Um, it's supposed to be like a kind of euphoric experience. Um, the art style is nice. You know, the game has some good presentation to it. Um, it's supposed to be like a, a Zen like game. So, you know, Phil Jackson, the old Bulls coach will probably really like this game. I don't know, it looks fine. You know, just sort of peaceful style of game. Um, comes out in 2024. There is a demo available today, though, if you want to get your Europa on and holy crap, it's Ninja Turtles. What is this? What is this? Ninja Turtles splintered fate. It is a team-based game. Splinter 
has been captured. You know, he, he always kind of finds himself kind of in trouble a lot. But now we've got to get Splinter back. It's a roguelite, which nah, you know how I feel about them, but it's the Ninja Turtles. So maybe, I mean, I'm still going to play this damn game, but but maybe it'll be okay because I like, you know, what's going on. Uh, you have to level up the Turtles. There are abilities that you get that you can have permanently instead of just temporary ones. All the classic characters are here. There's online co-op, drop in, drop out. It's a timed console exclusive for the Nintendo Switch. It comes out in July of 2024. Let's go. Let's go. This is what I'm talking about. These presentations need variety. Everything can't just be freaking cozy crap. Like we need some there's so many different styles of indie games. So Ninja Turtles, Splintered Fate, super cool. I don't really see how it's an indie game considering it's Nickelodeon, but whatever. I'll, you know, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue too much here. You need another effing cat game. Well, we got another effing cat game, people. Cat Quest Three is finally coming, and honestly, it doesn't look too bad. If I liked cats, I would be more open to this game. And I might even be able to look past it because I, I like the graphics. I like the presentation. I like the way the gameplay looks. It has local co-op, which is kind of weird. I, I I don't get that. Like, it has local co-op, but not online co-op. It's like, it's, bro, it's 2024. Put online co-op in your damn games and put a dog in instead of a frigging cat. But, like, this looks fine. You know, it, it looks good. Definitely a, a higher budget than some of these other games that we're seeing during this presentation. Comes out on August 8th. I know people enjoy the Cat Quest game. So, hey, you know what? This is a game for you. And then we got another, another cozy game. Stitch. A cozy game. No, no Lilo. Um, it's an embroidery game. You make, you make designs and solve puzzles i don't i i honestly completely checked out during this not not my style of game you know comes out today though so if you want to embroider some stuff on your nintendo switch you can actually use the touch screen so you know at least they tried a little bit we had a sizzle reel up next eh, i mean nothing nothing really caught my interest like super hard with it like you know there's a couple interesting things there a lot of a lot of 2d games and stuff like that and then it was finally time for the final game was it going to be hollow knight no of course not you idiots like stop with the hollow just just forget hollow knight 2 is a thing that game's never coming out the game's like metal slug tactics it's never coming out steamworld heist 2 is coming out though and that is our final game it honestly looks pretty good. They added in real-time naval combat to go along with the turn-based combat from the first game. These SteamWorld games seem to be like very plentiful. Like there's there's offshoot games and stuff like that. But I, I like the graphical style of the game. There's character customization. There's recruiting of other characters as well to add to your team. Yeah, you know, it looks pretty good. Um, it comes out on August 8th, so a game to look forward to, you know, definitely once again, another bit of a higher production value game. And that was it. That was it for our presentation. So of course, Hollow Knight wasn't there. Um, you know, it was all right. Like, I think there's some games with potential. The Yars game, I think has some potential, like, I do hope they can smooth that out. Anton Blast looked pretty cool as well. It doesn't come out till November, though, so it's kind of like, well, why are you showing me this now? Like, this isn't a big trip. Like, by, by the time November comes around, like, how many people are going to be like, oh, yeah, I saw that in an indie presentation. Like, no one. Um, the Ninja Turtles game obviously piqued my interest. SteamWorld Heist 2 looks pretty good. You know, there's, there's stealth drops in this, new announcements. That kind of checks my little boxes for these events but you know it's all right i i think with nintendo not talking about any first party stuff it makes these presentations a little bit harder to swallow you know and there was way too many cats but hey you know what that's just my opinion man that's just the opinion of a man who did not sleep enough last night it's probably going to take a nap now but what do you think about this presentation was it the bee's knees are you a, a fan of the pussy by that I mean cats, YouTube. Don't be, do not do anything silly here because I'm talking about cats, pussy cats. What's new, pussy cat? Whoa, whoa, whoa! 
I got a funny story about that song that, <laughs> that someone told me. Someone that you know told me. Give me your thoughts in the comments section down below. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, and share. Hit the bell as well. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.